Hi there, my name is Clemens Ambrosius from Lino and I would like to um, present you a 3D printer assembly. So 3D printers are cool equipment and meanwhile widely spread. But we are looking now at a configurable model of a 3D printer and when I'm talking about configurable I'm right now starting my tool that which is tucked on. And um, here at the left hand side we are able to control this uh, 3D printer. The first what we see is we are able to control the required printable area. At the moment we have a medium size printer here. Uh, have a look what happens if we uh, go to a small one which is rather small and the small one uh, maybe makes it easier to explain the, the design itself. So as you can see we have the ability to control the bridge here in the set direction by a belt like this and a motor and on both sides so we have a belt here and there and um, there we have also the x, x direction which is controlled by this belt but at the moment we are missing the printing unit so this the printing unit comes in the next step into our model but we see how this works we also have here an uh, um, electric drive and regarding the apps and um, the uh, y-axis we have um, also two two electrical drives which uh, control a spindle here which uh, finally controls the height of the, the bed here. Okay, so our uh, intention is to control the size in a way that we are able to print out the designs of let's say computer displays and in order to do that this is too small so we choose custom frame size and have a look what happens right now in the frame area here so we can control each of the axes by themselves so for instance we can say the width axis which is uh, the I think it's the set direction will get 800 millimeter because this is the uh, biggest uh, portion of our display so it looks like this and then we uh, control the the depth which should be 600 so we have some prefabricated values here but as you will see right now we are also able to to really make something like engineer to order so um, th uh, regarding the height so uh, the height we don't stick on 400 we say custom length okay height in that case and you will see that it gets a bit flat so probably not suitable for uh, 3D display um, so let's have it a bit higher here we can really customize our value I say it should be 1, 3, uh, 375 so have a look at it what happens so on that looks fine so here we really could print out our display so this is the main target area and we have a height for the stand for the display okay again we are missing um, the print uh, the print head which which comes in the next step and we are missing the filament rolls and things like that and here we ha already decided that we will have two different colors or materials so we will get two print heads right now and so I press the next button and this takes a while because we are really loading a bunch of uh, sub assemblies right now and here we go here we have the filament rolls two of them and the filament rolls there there is let's say at the moment it's nylon the material so there is an, um, a nylon filament which is um, pointing here to this printing head and regarding the printing head we have also some control abilities so for instance we are able to control the nozzle here and since we have rather a, a rather big design um, and we want to have results very fast we control the dimension of the nozzle here at the moment you see the diameter is 03 you can see that here too so we are going to control the nozzle diameter and just say 05 so we, you will see that it's, uh, it grows and we are able to get through more filament. Yeah, here you see, and that works for both printing heads. Oh, 
bit difficult to control it. Um, but there are other things we can control. For instance, here we have these uh, radiators and we, of, we can control other radiator types. For instance, um, we take the flat hot end, which is a bit uh, different from that, as you will see. Yeah, here we go. That's uh, that's the control. No, I have to. So, sorry, I have to make a fit to get it back. And another thing we can control is the size of the electric drive here. So, if we have a big nozzle, so we need uh, uh, more feet, so we need a stronger drive. And for this, um, I choose um, another drive here, I choose the biggest one, the Neymar 17 with 60 millimeters. And yeah, again, it takes some seconds, but then we will see, okay, here we got the big motors. Okay, and we go further, so that looks fine from that perspective, and it's really neat to see all the details of this um, printing head here. But we go further and there is another uh, important thing, we can add a cooling system. So um, a cooling system will be added here, you will see that in, a, in some seconds, I say yes. So have a look here, there will be a fan or two fans, one fan for each printing head, which is capable of cooling the filament as soon as it reaches the form. Here we go, so here are the, the fans, great so far. Okay, um, and there is the ability to add an LED light, but this LED light will be, um, I think it will be fixed here somewhere in the frame. So have a look at this position here. So we add the LED light so that we see a bit more when the printer is in action. So it should be added here. Yeah, here we go. So there we have an LED light. And on the other hand, we have that too. Here's the other LED display, uh, LED light. Okay, and finally, we, we are of course uh, able to add a, a housing. And here you see this uh, eye, which means there is an additional information. So we can see what we uh, we can await if we say uh, enclosure. So I just say yes, and then we will have a housing for for our printer. Take some seconds to get this subassembly loaded, yes, and you see we have uh, also some electrical controls here and things like that, and of course that fits perfectly. Okay, there are other things which we can't see inside, for instance the power supply type, but have a look at this. So um, Tacton not only configures the design, it also calculates the price for this assembly and if we for instance change the power supply type to a stronger supply, let's say this 500 watt supply, uh, remember the price, it will uh, change according to what what we choose, which, which kind of uh, parts we were choosing. Aha, it's quite a bit more expensive with a, a stronger power supply. Okay, the last thing I would like to show you, of course we are able to create drawings too. At, uh, we could uh, create a drawing for each of these parts. At the moment I have two examples, so I just press the button, update selected drawings. Again, we have two in the background, and this is the main assembly drawing with the second sheet, so it, it orders. And here we have um, a drawing of the base plate, uh, or the build plate, and you see that the, di the dimensions, they are according to our, our size requirements. Yeah, that's uh, design automation with uh, Tacton. Thank you for listening.